How's it guys? Now in a continuation of our LT range of brand new reels that have come in we now have the next price jump up which is going to be your ProRex LTs. Now we do a 2500 and we do a 4000 C. Now if you've watched the Ninja the C stands for compact so they've reduced the size of the body to keep it nice and small keep it lighter and everything like that. Obviously with the LT making it light or standing for light and tough that just enhances that um, the reduction of weight and the use of materials in here makes it a much lighter reel to use. So, as you mentioned, we've got a 25 and you've got a 4000. Two guys over here. They are beautiful. They work very nicely with the ProRex rods, by the way, so check out the video on those. Uh, that purple obviously just shines out with that uh, metallic section there on the bottom of the rod, but it will work with pretty much anything else. Now, Dawa is very clever. And what they do is on all these boxes, on the back of the box, they have every bit of information that you're ever going to need to know about the reel. So, I mean, from the line capacities all the way through to max drags and everything like that, it is all on the box, ready for me to use and cheat to say I know what I'm talking about. So, we're going to start, for example, let's say we're going to use the 2500 here, but obviously I'll, if there's anything different, I'm going to refer to it there. Obviously, compact uh, body there, not the compact here, although the 2500 size, like we mentioned, the sizing is different in these new models. It's a more universal or standardized version. The 25 is probably going to be closest to like our previous 1000 models. And the 4000 is probably going to be closest to like a, a, a previous 25, about there. 25 verging onto that 3000, verging on this. It's an in-between sort of size. So, this little gem of a reel here, as you'll see, it's got that uh, the little ProRex eye. Let's just get it exposed there. That sits on the back. You would have got that in the little footage we're rolling now. That's about chasing your monster. Uh, have a look at that up on the Dawa website under the ProRex banner. That's all about chasing your giant fish, your PBs and things like that. Very interesting read, so go. I won't spoil it for you. Go and read that on the Dawa, Dawa's website. Mainly designed for, for a pike range, but this goes all the way down to, I mean, this little beauty over here, which is probably going to have to be added to my arsenal. So, the little baby guy, we've got a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio. In the bigger boy, we have got 5.2 to 1. You have weight-wise, they're very, very light reels. We've got 220 grams on this little baby guy there, 255 in there, so there's really not much difference between the two. Uh, max drag on the little baby guy is 10 kilos and on the bigger boy it goes up to 12. So both five ball bearings, both very, 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 very smooth. They've got in the whole LT range, uh, we've got what's called a tough digi gear. Now that increases the smoothness of the actual operation of the reel as well as also making uh, the reel last a lot longer. So making those gears a lot tougher but while still making them smooth. So often what companies will do is they'll use a harder material like a stainless steel or something with your gears and although the gear is never going to break it's or never going to wear down at least it feels like you're winding a tractor which you really don't want so that little guy's got the tough digi gear he's got infinite anti-reverse so he's there you can obviously wind backwards if you wanted to if you're into that kind of thing um, otherwise yeah the five ball bearings we have uh, the 2500 size will take quite a bit of line, surprisingly for its size. It has been designed specifically for braid. We have on these LTs, I don't know if you can see there, but we've got what's called a double lip gear, which increases your casting. It was the same as you saw in that emblem 45, that you're going to be filling it up onto that, that lip there, not onto the second lip over there. And that's going to increase casting. It says it reduces your the friction of where it actually comes off. That incorporated with our the cross wrap system that I was uh, patented is going to lay the line in a certain way including with that lip that it's, when it comes off it reduces the friction actually coming off the line and therefore you're going to cast further because it's not as much um, I'm trying to see I wouldn't, I wouldn't say friction not as much resistance to the line coming off as you would have if you just had normal line lay and a single lip there so we've got a nice, another soft touch handle over here we have a machined aluminium handlebar there. Obviously screws out this side, well it's flat to fit nicely. The 4000 obviously exactly the same features in there. This is then the one jump up in price. Uh, get hold of your closest fishing retailer. They should have stock of them at the moment. The shipments are in. 
and yeah otherwise contact us uh, send it to our email if you want retail at kingfisher.co.za and yeah we can get one to your door cheers